My name is Becky and we're the Sire Girls and today we're here to try and DIY a trend that we've seen around recently. This is another Sire Girls tutorials didn't know you needed it until you watched this video <laughs> and I didn't know I needed it until we were like what DIY should we do and I was like I've seen this trend can we try it? So this is the speckled pottery slash speckled ceramic trend very vintage but then it's I'm seeing it everywhere now so as back. you know I, like as as it as they do so we have three different methods we're gonna try to try and replicate that we're gonna speckle some stuff we're gonna DIY some stuff let's get into it so for our first speckled technique, we actually picked up this mug from the dollar store, which actually has the same kind of shape that we've seen on a lot of speckled ceramic stoneware stuff. We're really excited to work with this shape, and to do this, we're going to use a toothbrush and paint the good old flick it and get that splatter. I'm probably going to test this a couple times because you want to make sure that you're not getting like the, the splatter that goes like, like the splooge. You want like very small little dots. <laughs> Becky's shaking her head. She's like, don't use that word. We also picked up an acrylic ceramic friendly paint that you can actually put in the oven afterwards and bake this so that this is like dishwasher safe, which we might attempt. But let's get starting with some flicking. So after some testing with a dry brush, more paint, less paint, realize that amount of paint doesn't matter an insane amount, but what does matter is if it's wet or not. So for the speckled look, you kind of want some finer speckles, but you also want a couple of bigger drops. So we found that wetting the toothbrush a little bit with water, then dipping it into our paint, and then maybe flicking the brush off just a little bit, and then moving on to your project is the best way to go. You can see how far away I'm holding the toothbrush, not too close, not too far. We didn't get any of those like long sprays, which is good, that's not what we wanted. We wanted these perfect little dots. Refill your brush and, and splatter, and then refill your brush and splatter. Don't try to like keep using all the paint, because that's when you start flicking harder, and then that's when you get the long like lines of paint versus the dots. And then at the end, we wanted a couple more of the bigger speckles, so we just took a really fine paintbrush and then came in and just added little dots where we needed them, and it looks so cute. And then also, since this is a ceramic paint, we're just gonna follow the directions on the paint bottle and bake this, so it just said put it in the oven when it's cold, bring it up to this heat, and then like leave it in there for 30 minutes. Obviously, your paint might be different, and make sure that your mug is oven safe, but um, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This makes a super sweet, one-of-a-kind gift. I think this is definitely like an old style that's coming back, which is really exciting because that means I think that the old and the young and anybody can appreciate this style. This does not look like a dollar store mug. I'd be like, oh, did you pay $20 for that? Okay, on to the next speckled technique. So next up, we are gonna try a method of getting that speckled effect using ground up peppercorns. I've seen this done online and it does look pretty real. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out together. So I think we're gonna make like a little ring dish or something. And this is just basic white modeling clay from the craft store. So I think what we'll do is roll out something a little flatter than this, try and ground in some peppercorns and then make a bowl shape. See how that goes. I'm actually so impressed with how this turned out. The peppercorn worked perfectly for creating that vintage stone pottery effect. Next, I'm gonna trim up my clay into a nice circle and I have this random bowl here to help me get a nice shape. And then we can uh, put it into a real bowl to use as a mold for baking. Okay, our little bowl is out of the oven and it's looking really good, but I think he wants to be nice and glazed up like the normal ceramic pieces are. So we have this Sculpey gloss glaze that I'm gonna put over the whole bowl. So I did two coats of the clear glaze and it's looking shiny and honestly so legit. Like people would spend lots of money on this at like a artisan market or something, but you made it yourself. So definitely give this a try. I would give the peppercorn method like more thumbs up than I can. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. And for this last technique, we are going to use a spray painting effect. So to do this, we're going to do it on a uh, sugar dish here, flower dish. No, we're gonna make a plant holder, obviously. If you guys can find a pot at your store, we wanted one that was kind of rounded because we're gonna turn it into a hanging planter. And this ended up being like a sugar dish in the home decor store 
in the kitchen area, but it's gonna work perfectly as a hanging planter pot. So the technique for this speckled effect comes from a stone textured finish spray paint that you can get from your hardware store. As you can see here on the cap, it has not only the look, but also the feel of stone. And we're gonna spray this a lot lighter than you're supposed to because we don't want to have all these colors, we still want our white to show through. Before I took it to the spray paint tent, I actually decided to tape off the top kind of third section to give this negative color blocking effect so the spray paint won't hit this part. So when you are spray painting this, make sure you do it really far away and seriously just do like one quick little tap of the spray can and then rotate it. Honestly, it takes like almost none of the can. You could probably return it and they wouldn't even notice. Just kidding, don't do that. So once it was all dry, we have it here. And then we can do the super satisfying thing of taking off the tape. Cute, 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 cute. That is looking friggin' fantastic, if I do say so myself. So to make this hang, we picked up some regular old cord. You guys know you can do like macrame and knots, but we want this to be very like minimalist, simple. Because the speckled effect is already very vintage and a throwback, we want to do something simple for the rest of it. For the hanging straps, I just cut two pieces. I took those two pieces and folded them in half and then knotted the loose ends together to create a loop so that I have a way to hang it. Then I found the middle of the folded sides and marked them with a marker so that when I was attaching them to the bottom of the pot, I just found the center, overlapped them, and then glued them into place. And then I kind of just spread them and then used some super glue to hold them to the sides. And this is like up on the list of one of my favorite DIYs that we've ever made and I'm so excited to put a little plant in it and style it. I hope you guys enjoyed those ideas. I am pleasantly, like insanely happy with how those all turned out. I'm like, toothbrush paint, how can that be cute? It was V cute. Pepper, is that gonna be cute? Yeah, it was cute. It was cute. And this like spray paint stone thing that like who actually uses this, I don't know but it was very cute. If you guys have a trend that you've seen everywhere at the moment, let us know below and we can figure out how you could DIY it. And I don't know if you guys thought there's like a, kind of like a plant DIY in this video. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do a whole plant week with lots of plant things. And even on our vlog channel, we're gonna do like a plant tour because you guys always ask us what plants we have in our office and all that kind of stuff. So vlog channel, main channel, plant stuff coming soon as well as just stuff all the time. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe to both those places so you don't miss that because I really want you guys to see it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, make sure you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.